Hi, my name's Dave, Product Director here at Matillion. Today I'll be showing you what's new in version 1.41 of Matillion ETL. So let's get started. The first new feature for all platforms is the Query Result to Scalar component. This component uses an SQL query on a table to return a scalar or single value, which users can set into a variable. Simply point the component to a database and use the SQL query parameter to write your SQL. In this example, our single line of SQL is counting any ID that is over a value of 30,000, and we're assigning our query to the count IDs column. We click sample and find 56 IDs that match our query. In the next parameter, scalar variable mapping, we have our count IDs column, which is mapped to our scalar variable, new var. This is a new job variable we made. Now the component is configured, we run the job, and here we use the Python script to print out our SQL query result of 56. Users on all Matillion ETL platforms can now specify required parameters within a shared job. So, when creating a shared job, work through the setup wizard and choose whether the job variable from which you're creating a shared job is required by ticking the box. Then, locate this shared job and drag it onto the Matillion ETL canvas. In this example, the required box is ticked, meaning a value must be provided for the variable. When the required box is unticked, setting a value is optional. Users on all platforms can benefit from increased usability when configuring LDAP. Click Admin and go into User Configuration, and you can select an external security configuration type. Just set the parameters to connect to your LDAP server. Users can now test their parameters and correct any errors, and additionally, test that their login credentials work as expected. Also new to all platforms is the Instagram connector. This component connects to your Instagram account and pulls data into a table. The records are nested, so you can use either the nested data load component or the extract nested data component to unpack your results, depending on which platform you use for Matillion ETL. Once you have unpacked your results, the target table should structure your Instagram data in a typical relational style. Users of Matillion ETL for Snowflake can now specify the number of concurrent connections to a target database, which can decrease ETL job completion times via increased available bandwidth. To access this feature, just right-click on a chosen environment in the bottom left panel. Then click either Add or Edit Environment. Click through the Setup Wizard and you'll see the new option, Concurrent Connections. Please note, this option will only be visible and accessible to Enterprise Edition customers. Matillion ETL for BigQuery users can now encrypt table data using a custom key when creating a new table via the Create Table component. Simply click into the KMS encryption parameter and select Yes. This will activate additional parameters, allowing you to set a location keyring and a key to encrypt your table data. As a BigQuery Matillion ETL user, you can now use the data lineage feature to track column data backwards through its transformation process, with insights including the data's origins, changes to the data, and the components that interacted with the data. In this example, we have a transformation job with a pair of table inputs. Each passes through a filter component with one also passing through a calculator. Both components then meet at a join component with two streams of data becoming one. Now, when we click the Lineage tab and click on one of our columns, we can drill all the way through the data's lineage to explore each process of its transformation. We can see that this column of data originated at a table input component, then passed through a filter, and so on. With a column that has not come from a table, such as this new ID, we can find its original reference. So here we can determine via the lineage that the calculator component created this column, but beneath this process we can observe the root of the data too. 
When we click the View SQL tab, we can see all of the SQL that has been applied to this column and view, as highlighted, instances where the column is referenced. We can even see where the data the column derived from originated as well. BigQuery users working with the Create Table component can also now create a clustered table, which lets you select up to four custom columns around which your data will be clustered. Clustering was always available for timestamp columns, but now you can also cluster on other columns that may better partition your data according to the query patterns run against it. So that's what's new in version 1.41 of Matillion ETL. For more information, please visit matillion.com and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thank you.